question for the gymnasium, Fatlinda. Yes. Um, how is the regular occupation of gymnasiums in the ground floor? What, what do you, what does a regular gymnasium in Albania host in the ground floor? Yeah. Um, sorry, can you repeat? Um, you know, there. Are, when you build a building, then you have a, you you construct it uh, according the needs and the culture. Yeah. What is uh, yeah. what is the composition of a gymnasium in Albania? Because for us in Austria, uh, yes. the school buildings are kind of like locked, and this is a big problem because those buildings are then fifty percent of the time empty, like all the weekends, vacation times, and so on. But uh theoretically there is in gymnasiums and so on there is no other use than school in those school buildings and the ground floors so what is the regular use of ground floor um in in albania what is the yeah uh, yes i can uh, i can explain you some examples for example in tirana um, in the gymnasium or in the other schools um, there, they have some uh, other. They have classes, and they have some other uh, spaces. For example, uh, uh, sports classes or gymnastic classes. And uh, in the morning, uh, they do uh, teaching for the according to the program of the teaching. And uh, afternoon, uh, the the pupil can come with. Uh, to do uh, another sports activities with uh, the professor or with the other activities or, or the other person who can uh, uh, learn or ha who can take care of that. And this is more or less a community activity, not uh, in the program of the school, but in the program of community. So uh, children or the young people uh, sometimes don't have uh, sports uh, space uh, or uh, uh, sports uh, buildings uh, near their homes. They have only the school, so they do uh, sports activity in the uh, space of the buildings. Uh, of the school, usually in the first floor when the palester, you know, palester of the, we call it palester of the school. So it, it will be used by the pupils in the morning and by the community afternoon. And is yes? this community already there? Is there a group or NGO who wants to take over, run the place and so on? Or how uh, is the status uh, in this regard? It's not so as uh, so well organized, but uh, usually uh, the uh, the professor of, for example, the prof, prof uh, the sports professor uh, will come afternoon and take care for this activity as a part of the school. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, uh, usually are the pupil of the schools that uh, do some more extra activities. Uh, not in the time of the, the that they are in the school, but in the free time. Not so much organized at the NGO or uh, another structure, state structure, but uh, the school organized this uh, mm -hmm. kind of uses of spaces and activity of the uh, pupil or students. Mm -hmm. And. Uh what does the school, this uh, specific gymnasium, need as an input, um, as, um, yeah, as an example, or uh, um, to, to 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 give it give it a ground floor to the community? I mean, the pupils. I understand that they want uh, they would be organized by the teachers. Yes. And uh, for the evenings, for the community, yeah. uh, uh, does the school need people to to come and yes. run the place? Or yes, yes. maybe an agreement between uh, the one or two people and uh, the uh, administration of the school or the uh, somebody from the municipality which take care of the. Uh, this kind of activities can uh, do an contract and uh, 
somebody will take care and uh, will have the responsibility for take care for uh, using and organizing the activity in this space but um, i can say uh, and another uh, problem uh, according to the schools in albania uh, a, a great problem for albania is that uh, some in some cities maybe in, uh, in the city of Leja, you have had the information that the uh, number of population is not so increased but uh, sometimes uh, is reduced the number of population redu is reduced from time to time and uh, one of the reason is that the number of births is not uh, so high is lower and lower from one from the year to year and uh, the number of uh, students are not uh, uh, so higher and so they uh, or the pupils and so they don't need so much classes and in these cases a lot of uh, this is example not for leisure this example is for some other cities of uh, Albania and uh, for some uh, spaces in school or uh, uh, are not uh, occupied and maybe some classes are not uh, occupied because the reduce of the number of the uh, students or the pupils but uh, when the municipality or then Ministry of Education decided to reconstruct the school, reconstruct the whole school, uh, and uh, after the reconstruction, uh, some of classes are, are not uh, occupied become, because of reducing of the uh, students' number. So we have uh, when I have discussed with another colleague, uh, uh, we have the idea that we can use uh, these spaces, uh, sometimes reconstructing and in good condition as uh, spaces for the community. Mm -hmm. Yes. What does the school really want from this ground place, uh, ground floor? Do they just want it to be occupied and beneficial and uh, welcoming and nice, or do they need to make money out of that? I, I don't think uh, this one has to be about uh, to have a pro profit purpose. Mm -hmm. So they still don't don't have, don't have any uh, any function yet. So the mm -hmm. ground floor, mm -hmm. but. Uh, uh, I think most uh, useful and appropriate is to uh, to propose uh, uh, any functionality which is related with uh, youth activities and for sure which is linked with the school. So there is no any uh, any profit relation with this from the from the from the let's say from the state or, or from the municipality itself. And are there any NGOs or groups who are interested in the space? Uh, there are some, there are few, there are some NGOs uh, in Leja, but there are even some uh, in Skoder. So, because Skoder, uh, the Dona, which is from from Skoder, which is close to cl close to Leja, they are working a lot with tourism. And maybe Le Dona later on can uh, can make any question or make any comments mm -hmm. what models they are using in Skoder. But uh, I think that can there is a huge potential for uh, even for local NGOs uh, to use it. Uh, as open space mm -hmm. uh, for uh, different uh, related education activities or different uh, even sport activities, and to use it, I can I think that they can use it as an open space for for kind of offices or to have some seminars and common workshops, and this is something that NGOs in Leja, but even in Albania, there is a need to share uh, space and to use it as a uh, open space for for different uh, activities. For sure, for sure, this this will be not any any charge to uh, NGOs, so mm -hmm. to pay any fee to the school. So I think it will be free of charge. Mm -hmm. And uh, if there are no questions, I would just like to have a, a clear picture of the residential place. If that can be also non-profit, like uh, if um, the owners want to have a rent of this space, or if they uh, in the first as the first goal, want to have this space used so it doesn't look so empty, un, un, unwelcoming, and so on. I would like to understand what the purpose of activation is in this regard, in this project. So for now, since five years, this uh, empty vacant space is not uh, used. So um, he is open to 
for any kind of uh, idea, uh, take into consideration the, the area, the connection of the area with other buildings and other uh, businesses which are in the surroundings. So yeah, we have done some, uh, as Fatlina introduced, we did some, uh, uh, let's say, study and research about the, the position or location of the building uh, with other uh, areas. Mm -hmm. And we, we can discuss and we can see what kind of, what types of intervention we can propose to this uh, vacant space, which is, let's say, since many years, which is not used. And for sure, he has, it has a huge potential for revitalization and for, for, uh, for, any, for any type of uh, investment which can be made to this. Mm -hmm. Okay, are there any, uh, any other questions? I have a question. Okay. I, um, I'd like to know that um, if uh, this revitalizing problems among the leisure community is also facing in the other cities of Albania also. So yeah, I, I can reply to your uh, questions, Ernest. Thank you for your question. So yeah, I mean this is a common uh, common problem even for other uh, cities in uh, in uh, in Albania. So the vacant space. Uh, so we have many 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 regions or many uh, neighborhoods which are left behind. There are less uh, less economy activity which is in this uh, in these areas, and most of the time people are, don't have any uh, any idea or any profit idea to activate the potential for this uh, uh, for uh, for this uh, open spaces to reactivate and to have some uh, some business or some other related activities uh, but uh, the challenge is that uh, the challenge is, is the challenge is here is, is not only from uh, is not only from the let's say from the community itself but it's either from the municipality so it's about institutional uh, arrangements and institutional lack of collaboration so most of the cases uh, we don't have we don't we most of the cases we don't have let's say kind of a, let's say bottom up but even top down approach they are not quite used because municipality itself uh, let's say don't try to implement what is done in the let's say in the action plan of the urban planning plan they don't uh, inform local communities about potential activities that can be done to the neighborhood so it means community itself are lacking knowledge and information what is really proposed for to, to their neighborhood like this case to to leisure municipality so even to the local plan there is uh, foreseen some activities uh, or some uh, because uh, the urban regulatory plan propose or address some uh, potential investment intervention of kind of services which have to be done to each neighborhood or to each region but the the community itself is not aware, quite informed about this uh, kind of uh, intervention of uh, actions that can be to their uh, to their property. So there's both sides. It's a challenge, it's a barrier. So I think this is applied even to other municipalities or other regions in Albania. We don't have we don't have a very strong connection between the local government and community itself. So in order to push forward this uh, the agenda of uh, uh, revitalization of their property. And it applies the same here to, to Leja. Um, Zef Zefi from um, uh, our participant would like to know what kind of activities can be proposed for the vacant spaces. So what activities can be proposed for vacant spaces here? Yeah. No, for both. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, so uh, so this is something that we have to, to do du during this study. So that's, uh, the, let's say, the purpose of uh, this webinar on this, uh, uh, let's say, uh, this meeting today, to identify which are the local needs and challenges and to have a clear overview of the, uh, of the vacant spaces uh, in the, this in the five vacant spaces. And let's say we can have a potential strategy or answer, maybe uh, when we can finalize the final output which is the roadmap of the projects. And after that, we can try to propose some, uh, uh, some activities or some potential, uh, let's say, uh, projects which can be to these vacant spaces. But for, for now, as I understood and, and I'm aware about these vacant spaces, uh, uh, leisure itself has a huge potential about uh, tourism and uh, uh, 
uh, maybe some uh, tourist, uh, ag agencies which are related with tourism or some young entrepreneurs to have some startup projects here can be quite potential, which is not is rarely found in Leisure and in the uh, other cities. So why not? Uh, tourism is a, is a very in a very huge potential uh, in Albania to to be as a very interesting sector uh, for uh, even for young people, uh, for young people which can have their uh, startup or to have some uh, uh, business related activities, which uh, for sure can have some profit and that can be one option for this vacant space. Mm -hmm. Then we have a question from Kledisa Sela. I have a question, who are main actors that might use vacant spaces? Yes, I just answered to this mm -hmm. uh, yeah. question. So it can be young people or organizations or... So it but can, we are it not can... in touch with those organizations or with the young people uh, for the moment, right? Yeah, but uh, even... Um, yeah, we are we are some we are in touch with uh, with some uh, with the NGO which is now Redona is part, but this NGO mm -hmm. which is in Škoda, which is close to Leja, mm -hmm. and they are very good connection with uh, with Leja uh, community, and for sure they that, that's why I, I thought it would be very interesting that uh, uh, the organization the non-profit organization which presents uh, Redona is uh, which is very now they are working with tourism and startup and uh, innovation in uh, in tourism and uh, and other uh, related uh, projects. So for sure, this project even can be to their benefit to use it as a potential idea to, why not to link to, or to connect with uh, local community and local NGOs in Leja and to, to, have, to have some common activities, common projects. Okay. Silvia, you wanted to say something. Yeah, no, because uh, at the start, so I think the, um, it's interesting to, to look at different perspectives at the same time. And uh, I think if you look, if you think about tourism or startups, they are like what what could be put there, what could could find there a place. But I think at the beginning, also Fatlinda mentioned there is a with a specific piece of uh, of urban structure with uh, collective housing. So it's not the city center. It's not the one family house uh, situation it's a it's a uh, specific kind of urban structure and that that linda also mentioned there are specific needs of a population of a local population so uh, maybe uh, also to to think what are the specific local needs uh, is there something there that is missing that could be put there and also she mentioned there has been some try, so these kind of spaces have maybe had one or two uses, especially in the second uh, example, but then they failed and now they are left uh, empty. So, for example, to know what failed, what, what has been tried, would be interesting, I think. And also to, to go really what what is missing in the local structure, because I think uh, the local structure, for, of course, uh, tourism doesn't seem like very specific to this part of the town. But of course, you can put it there, but it's more from uh, from outside to, to, to in there. But in the structure itself, is there something that they are maybe missing? I don't know, a center for elderly people or some other kinds that are really local needs? Thank you for your question. It, uh, I... Uh, a good question for that. Um, I think that uh, in this zone, we I can explain for both zones. Uh, so here is a map with activities that are in the zone, and the other map for the activities near these other sites. And so there are a lot of activities, and. Um, uh, Refer to the, to the condition of the of this zone, uh, the number of population and the number of users, and uh, the function of the zones. Uh, I uh, appreciate your suggestion that uh, in this zone maybe we can uh, think to organize some activities for uh, the youth, uh, because here are a lot of. Uh, uh, pupils, a lot of uh, students, and uh, 
uh, a lot of uh, people who use the schools and so uh, the use of this space for uh, the this category of um, uh, population it will be a good uh, solution uh, as uh, I explain you, the school, for example, has uh, only classes and uh, not other spaces for uh, the youth or for the pupils. And uh, the parcel of the school is not so uh, high, it's a small uh, parcel. So the, uh, co the, commu the, co the activities of the students are, or the pupils are reduced only the teaching in the classes. So if we use these uh, spaces for um, activities after uh, learning, after teaching, it will be a good uh, uh, idea. Uh, because uh, the, in the first site, there are 518 users now, and in the future will be more than us. And the same thing and for the other sites. There are a lot of users. And these are uh, yeah, usually, uh, most of them are pupils in the uh, schools. And so if we organize uh, some activities for the pupils, we can uh, do a good um, solution and um, necessary uh, use for the pupils and for the community. Because uh, in the Danian, uh, the school is in the middle of the community and uh, the people who use this uh, school usually are the people in the community around or of the residential zone, uh, zone around. And uh, if we see here all the uses, we have uh, most of these activities are activities for the community in general, not for the uh, specific parts of community as are the youth of the community. So it, it, I think that uh, some activities uh, for the youth or the organization of the youth and uh, for uh, uh, creation and idea to spend uh, free time uh, of them, it, uh, it will be an idea. But Linda, you had yes. said uh, in your presentation what Silvia was asking, that there are sort of specific uh, needs of the community as well. Were yes. you only referring to the youth who doesn't have extra space after school? Or are there also some uh, needs like green space, playground, no. meeting no. space, gathering space. Yes. Are there any other uh, needs from the, from the city part? Yes, uh, I am, uh, I am uh, saying that uh, the, the youth uh, need some space for after school. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in the second case where, where we have the residential building, yeah. is there, are there any needs um, communicated? Uh, are there enough spaces, I don't know, for kindergartens or for, as Silvia said, elderly people to meet or are there enough shops, are there enough places to, I don't know, like restaurants or education where people who, who uh, do extra uh, curriculum in the evenings or so can attend? Yeah, uh, I say, I, uh, from my point of view and from my experience uh, uh, in Lejabat and in other part and from my uh, information that I have uh, collected from uh, Leja City, I have seen that there are a lot of bar, restaurant and this kind of activities and uh, uh, I think that uh, something for uh, the youth, maybe uh, yes, at the uh, kindergarten or uh, daily news, daily care, or uh, it will be something that uh, missing and in the zone uh, missing this kind of activities. And I didn't see near the zone this uh, activity or uh, uh, maybe some uh, uh, school.
school. Uh, yes, this it will be kindergarten, and yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, I think they can be. So we, uh, Fatina, just a question. So we, we did. So what are the most surroundings activities in this area? Just to have to to, to give a clear overview to, to to Sylvia. I think this residential building we uh a little, we need a little bit uh to explore if possible to um what the building itself what the what the residents of the building um need because there are also models where the ground floor is uh ex auxiliary uh space for the residents of the building like they have their uh community play uh room where uh, kids of the whole complex can play there are workshops where people can build together um, furniture or so or they have some uh, facilities like playing table tennis or whatever like really serving the the residents of the building to uh, to meet to form a kind of community so that uh, that the the living together in this building uh, works better, that they can take care of each other's kids or that they can teach each other things and stuff like that. So perhaps because in both cases, the buildings are at the street, uh, which the street doesn't have too much activity. So they are kind of like the backside of the bigger uh, or more um, active streets. So potentially it's also good to think about more um, introverted activities or more silent activities because uh, having a bar underneath an apartment might be not so so nice for the people who live there but maybe it, I'm thinking wrong because it's a different culture or so that's I think a little bit missing to understand if there are any specific needs from the residents of the building or the close neighbors and if there is any wish to have more like community activities there instead of having um more profit oriented uh activities yeah this, this is uh this is right so it's uh let's come something that we can uh, uh get this information from uh, from municipality itself so because for sure they are much more involved in this local action plan mm -hmm. and so uh, be, be for sure to, to, to see what pro what projects they are pro planning to have to this kind of uh, neighborhoods so in order to to to, re to avoid any overlapping of the of the projects and interventions to this area but as from my understanding so something uh, that we have to kind of let's say avoid this uh, uh, business initiatives like yeah. uh, coffee bars or restaurants, which yeah. are widely used or spread to that area. So something which can be uh, open back and for community itself mm -hmm. or what, what, I can, what I can propose, which can be very, as a very successful model and stories to try to, uh, to connect young people or to motivate young local young people to, 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 to bring to, to brainstorm and to, to check any uh, any kind of startup uh, in these areas to activate these vacant spaces into some business profit uh, as leisure is very exposed to uh, tourism and to uh, and to foreigners which can go to because it's close to uh, to the coast to the sea and uh, even one option can be that this uh, open space is used from the NGOs itself to try to to have them some startup. But even these community uh, projects or uh, some open space for communities to have their children or to to, to be used from the uh, from people which are living uh, uh, nearby. So even that one, I think it's very new one and uh, in in a very high need necessary is very necessary for for local communities to uh, to have a common space for their children or even for uh, for adult or for elderly people mm -hmm. to to be to have to have as, as a 
spend their time and to to to, to use this uh, vacant space as a let's say for their own purpose and I think the community projects and initiatives can be very in high demand in Asia. Mm -hmm. And to this uh, second vacant space, we can try to propose some uh, yeah, so community, community projects for, for, for young people, but not only young people, but even for elderly people to mm -hmm. try to, to connect and to propose what kind of, uh, what type of uh, projects we can see and how we can, but for sure in that regard, we need to, so to, to have the opinion of municipality itself to see if this is something that fits with their objectives and strategies, for sure, because they have their own they have their uh, own action plans, and to see if we are insane we are in line with their strategies. Mm -hmm. But the second building is privately owned, right? It's yeah, owned it's by one person, the whole building. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the renter, uh, there are renters. So, are they long-term renters or are they? No, no. So because I talk with the with the owner of the of the building, and uh, this this open space is owned by the by one person itself, mm -hmm. but it's not rented. Mm -hmm. uh, so but, they, the, but the apartments upstairs. Ah uh, no, the apartments upstairs they they are they are uh, they are private one. So they are they are people which are living to their apartments. So I think they are. Okay, there are diverse. Uh, there is a diverse ownership in the whole building, but the ground floor is uh, belongs to one person. Yeah, 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 right, right. Okay, and is the owner of the ground floor um, in touch with the with the owners of the apartments? Yeah, yeah, for sure, because there is a connection with uh, with uh, with uh, let's say with this this kind of uh, uh, they know each other because for sure they are they are neighbors, so they are. They share the same space and they know each other. Mm -hmm. But the owner of these uh, buildings is, is on they, this, this property. It uh, belongs to him, but he's living uh, somewhere else in Leja. Mm -hmm. So it means he's, he's not living there. Mm -hmm. But for sure, the, the, this, uh, this property is owned by one person. Mm -hmm. And uh, the demography of the house, are they more families or small households, more elderly people, more people I, with I younger think the, children? Every, I think the average, the average uh, age to each is, is 35 to 45 mm -hmm. is average age. So I mean, is mostly the, of them are young people, but as, as, let's say a, a slight percentage of them there can be elderly, over mm -hmm. 60 or 65. But uh, is there something like a, a administration structure for the house itself? Uh, because I, I think for sure, uh, the, look, the residents on top of these empty spaces are uh, have an interest what the spaces get um, get to use. Maybe they are actually there. They and the owner of this space are the, probably the most interested ones that the, the space get used because it's for their own properties. It's a, it's much better when the ground floor is attractive and when it's not. Yeah. So. Um, it would be maybe interesting to, to think uh, how can we contact them or how can they be contacted and if, uh, if there is some kind of already uh, structure in place, like in Austria, you would have some kind of uh, administration for the house, for the whole house. Uh, yeah, so I think, uh, for example, in Indiana, we have this kind of uh, administrative person which is uh, responsible for, for the world building. Mm -hmm. But uh, to other municipalities, they are a bit uh, behind on that. So I guess there is no any administrative person or... But it, it could be checked because I think for sure that the, uh, maybe, no, that to look who, who, is, uh, who, who, is an inter who is a stakeholder in this empty space, for sure the, the people up, living upstairs are, are stakeholders and they might also have... Uh, an idea of what they might also have needs or possibilities to, to think about how to use the space below. Okay. 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 Yeah, that might be. Uh, maybe. So but I, I would just maybe put this, this, this issue in, in the map of stakeholders uh, or possible interested uh, people in the activation. Also the, the, the residents on top of uh, empty property, I think, in the second case.
Okay. And the owner of a build of a of a second case of this commercial property, do you know approximately did he buy this place in order to to have a profit? I guess or how yeah, did I he? Think, I think he bought it because this building is is it's almost fifteen years or twenty years. Okay. Constructed. So I think he bought it uh, just to for for profit, but now it, it doesn't work. So it's and he he moved from leisure a bit and he left behind his property. So that's why he's abandoned uh, vacant space. Okay. And does he uh, is he is willing to give it for no profit? Uh, so this is something that for sure. Uh, he can try it, but not to give it for non-profit. So, so maybe it can be to have just a few, he cannot give it for free, but for sure. But okay. just, he cannot, I mean, if one, the price for square meters in Leisure can be 100, let's say, or that area for, for rent, he can be four to 500 euro. Maybe he can give with, uh, uh, with 200, you know, just uh, to reduce it double. So the price can be much, uh, Smaller comparing with the with the one which is in Malaysia, but I'm I'm sure that he cannot give it for free. So this is something that okay. I cannot say that. So he would give it uh, approximately for the half uh, market price, and yeah. in the first case, the gymnasium doesn't have to have rent, right? Yeah, the the gymnasium is public, so it doesn't need to have a rent. Okay. But the second one for sure. Uh, or maybe one. I mean, in, in Austria, but we can talk about this in the next workshop about the possibility of intermediate uses that maybe it's like, uh, or a step by step where you say you can start very low, but you put in the perspective that if the use works uh, over a long time, you can get the profit. These are kind of strategies that uh, are uh, usual in this uh, issue of how to activate uh, backend spaces, but that's let's say it's about what is the long-term aim and in one case is a profit and in the other one is uh, is not which is maybe also one question that we had was if um, what are if there are already in laser I think you mentioned in Tirana there are examples for example in the school of, of uses of vacant spaces that are already in place are there otherwise examples more local examples of reuse of vacant spaces or for example or of intermediate uses uh, um, of some kind uh, or this a, would be a kind of a first first uh, prototype yeah so from my from from my from my perspective from my experience i can say that uh it's not this 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 project or this uh kind of project is quite new in Albania because uh, for sure uh, the vacant spaces or let's say the ground floor uh, from in Tirana most of the time is given for renting for renting and the use of uh, uh, the use the use of space is 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 mostly for profit so restaurants businesses for different uh, business and this one i think but most most of the uh, let's say the ground floor in the in the suburb or let's say which which is more to the outskirts of the city, which are for sure they can they are open uh, vacancies which are uh, on the ground floor and they are, they don't have any purpose so just they are they are left empty so there is no one which is trying to 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 give them um, a hand I mean to to, to have some but uh, yeah, even in in leisure is the same is the same approach is the same approach so I mean here there so there are open spaces which are not used for many different reasons but there is no any activation or uh, for f to to activate this uh, empty space to uh, let's say to 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 have some i don't know some different types of uh, projects that is maybe it's about culture but maybe i can add something yeah, uh, on that. yeah uh, i can explain you something as an experience in uh Albania, uh, sometimes for uh, this uh, vacant space in the uh, high buildings, uh, in the time, in the cases that uh, this building are suited or are positioned in the residential zone and not in the main roads and uh, uh, the owners uh, 
take empty or vacant for some time and after some time they decided to do something and a good solution has been a part of this uh, zone is using as a small bar on the bar mm -hmm. and the other is a playground for children and people with small children come and uh, uh, most of the this surface is, is used as a playground or place where the children can stay and play with each other and only a small part as a small coffee uh, only for the mother and father who are with their children and so they spend uh, all the afternoon in this uh, uh, space we have uh, some cases in Tirana and uh, usually these are done in the first floor of the building, in the ground floor and sometimes in the second and uh, first floor mm -hmm. of uh, the new buildings. But uh, uh, it, this uh, example is in the residential zone where there are a lot of children and uh, young families with uh, children. Mm -hmm. It's very important to understand what kind of people live in the second case. Uh, to understand what the potential is in-house already. If there are a lot of people who are unemployed and want to learn, I don't know, programming, then we would go potentially in that direction to, to bring perhaps expertise in this, um, in this regards. Maybe there will be more uh, in the first month's trial to to learn new skills but if there is already a certain other need like there are families or there are a lot of elderly people who who have uh, time to do handcrafts for instance and then sell it to the tourist uh, touristic shops over there or so it's very important to grow the 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 idea for the activation out of the potential um, out of the people who have already certain needs and if there are, I don't know, more families which have kids around 15 who want to uh, learn what kind of education or what kind of profession they want to uh, proceed or they all want to be footballers, maybe then it's more the sports direction. So it's really important um, to understand the ecosystem, what is already there and to connect with the on-ground uh, uh, needs because then you have already people who would run the project in the first phase when it doesn't make any profit or when there are not enough people coming and taking the services. You mean for the, for the, for the second case, right? Yes. Mm. Okay. For instance, it would be very important to know what the municipality already knows what the area needs like are there needs of i don't know pharmacy health centers sports for elderly people or kindergartens daycare uh, if they have already any needs in this regards they could use the ground floor uh, instead of building a new building or um, they could try already implementing the services and uh, have a trial version and then uh, plan better or stuff like that. So it's, it would be important also to understand the uh, municipality um, um, uh, needs. I think that would be important to understand the people's need, the municipality, what they want to grow there, what they want to invest or what they want to improve. But the, don't have the um, resources like the space to do it and then uh, that we have a pool of options and where we can combine and come up these strategies. Silvia would you like to say? Uh, yes I'm looking at a list of questions that we had uh, prepared so to, to see if we have uh, everything uh, answered I think uh, we do maybe one general question at the general level was um i think the situation in Leisure was described quite quite well and uh, um you you mentioned the issue of tourism and agribusinesses uh, and also this uh, other um, place near Leisure where they they have uh, working already with an uh, ngos and with this in innovation centers if there are 
maybe in general, any other kind of dynamics or processes or stakeholders that are maybe not what immediately uh, an issue for empty space, for vacant spaces, but are anyway some kind of best practice that is going or positive development as is happening there. For example, are the EU projects that the municipality is dealing with that uh, maybe where we can think if we can link to that or not. So um, are there um, some kind of uh, groups doing interesting things or is there a specific, I don't know, a music band or is it, what is, let's say, what, what are dynamics, positive dynamics that we could uh, also consider in the broader perspective of uh, how to, to, to support positive change in, at the local level? Yeah, the, during the presentation, we, we just introduced a dynamic of, uh, let's say, the, of the, on the ground of the businesses and what is kind of uh, the types of activities which are in the surrounding. Places, mm -hmm. so which is which are now already shown to the to the screen, which is coffee bar restaurants. But what I can suggest is that uh, uh, looking that uh, Leja is quite uh, exposed to foreigners as a culture uh, and touristic uh, city. Looking that is close to the sea and mm -hmm. itself, it has a very quite potential culture and historical uh, to, of the city. I guess that. Uh, and for sure, the culture activity is, uh, I mean, it's a bit uh, higher comparing with other cities. Okay. It can be quite useful to, that's, that's why I mentioned during the presentation, it can be quite uh, useful and uh, very strategically to see any kind of uh, investments which is or initiatives which is related with uh, startup from young people in the tourism sector. Okay. The tourism, you can buy the agency, tourism agency for 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 even from Albanians which go to Leja to visit Leja or other for foreigners. Okay, so uh, okay, so maybe in this case to in this um, realm, who is uh, who is an interesting uh, stakeholder in the tourist section? Is the tourist uh, agency of Albania or are there? I don't know, some kind of hotel or uh, people doing interesting um, packages. Yes. Tours. Tourists. Yeah, or they can be tour guides or, I don't know, yeah. um, museum owners or other um, yeah. theater, music, whatever. If there are any yeah. people... Groups, uh, yeah, they, they, so what I can see that can be... There's, because even tourist agencies are spread to the city, but this can be a common space. So we can, they can be an open space for these tourism agencies. We can come together to this abundant yeah, space. This is, I, I think we, um, that's already the, the, the solution. I think that the question before is who, who are the interesting tourism agencies that we can contact and we can involve in the project, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So what? Uh, so even this is why. So the the, the potential uh, stakeholders which can in have interest on that can be the local tourist agencies. Okay. Who are in Leja, or maybe future potential uh, stakeholders who want to have to invest to this kind of business. What about um, agriculture? You mentioned agriculture businesses, for example, uh, markets. Are there any markets in the area? Yes. Uh, there, uh, yes, yes, there are some markets. Uh, meat market, because it is a, uh, and a vegetable market. And there are some, you can see here, this is a market. Okay. Agricultural. Okay. Products. Okay. Yeah. And are there local producers, uh, these kind of things? But uh, so, and people go to the supermarket. Yeah. I guess. There are some other uh, supermarkets here or mini market, but oh. uh, I think that uh, the pro products are not uh, from the Leja, only from the Leja. Yes, you have right. Maybe the product are from the other part of Albania or from the outside of the Albania. Okay. 
local producers are going to the market, for example. Yeah. But, and uh, like um, startups at the moment in Leisure, is there any place, any, any area where you can find startups, any kind of network or organization for startups? Yeah, this one is a bit weak because they are, they are not quite, let's say, in a very, this uh, kind of entrepreneurship spirit. So there is, this is, they are missing uh, on-ground startup business from organizations. I mean, comparing with other cities, for example, comparing with Shkodra, it's, it's a bit behind Leisure. It's not very uh, known for this kind of startup and entrepreneur, entrepreneurial activities from the organizations. Okay. But I guess the resources are there, but still we need to unlock are they, so There is no kind of uh, uh, possible uh, person, contact person for young entrepreneurs. Yeah, no, no. What happens if I live in uh, Lesa, I'm 29 years old, I'm unemployed and I have a business idea? The, is there any support, any organization, any funding, any bank who can, whom do I contact? My parent family. Uh, so this is a very good question. So the, uh, the first of all, for sure, I mean, the first line, the banks, I'm not very, I, I mean, there are some, uh, banks, but I mean, they are, they are not kind of soft loans for, for let's say for young people to have, to have some types, but there are many uh, funding opportunities. There are many uh, EU, uh, European Union programs. Uh, for example, now uh, the NGO, which is working in Lidona, they got a project from the uh, Sweden embassy in Albania uh, for the innovation and for the entrepreneurship uh, for uh, young uh, leaders or uh, different age to start up and to have their own business. So from uh, some uh, the public authorities, it's quite a uh, challenge to get uh, support. I mean, finance uh, or kind of soft loans or even the banks. I'm not very positive to that. I guess they, have, they might have many challenges. But the only, the only option is to, to have a connection with the NGOs and to, to check any funding opportunity from donors from European Union or from other embassies which have to their uh, agenda this kind of startup and business uh, uh, entrepreneurship for, for, for different people. So there are no, um, we can invite the one uh, organization if they would have interest to start something like that in, uh, in Leisure too but there are no other organizations right now in Leisure who who do support, who do consult, or who teach young people to, to be entrepreneurs. Yeah, there are, this is something that is lacking in Leisure, mm -hmm. and this is quite... But there is a kind of like a business uh, organization where you pay your taxes and they're supposed to support you. No. When no? no, 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 no. There's no chamber, uh, no. Yeah, business yeah. chamber, economy chamber, or something like that. Yeah, it's, it's in, in Tirana, but we don't have this, uh, uh, let's say, this uh, support for mm -hmm. for business or for startups. So as I, as I, the, the main source of the main source of funding is from uh, uh, foreign uh, organizations for startup and for. It's not any public uh, investment or public uh, source of funding. Mm -hmm. And where do the people go when they uh, finish gymnasium? They, there is no uh, university in Lesa, I think. So they go all to Albania and stay there, or are they coming back? Yeah. They go, most of them go to, to, uh, to Tirana or go to Škoder, mm -hmm. which, is, uh, which is, let's say, close to Lesa, which is another big city in the north. Mm -hmm. or most which has of them a university. Go. Sorry? Which has a university. Yeah, which has a university or they, or they, or they move to Tirana, which is the capital. Mm -hmm. Okay. Plus we so this uh, migration, migration is it's, it's okay. very high. In and this. Are there, is there some kind of alternative tourism uh, thing? Like uh, that you're saying tourism is an is a important thing? Uh, are there like um, 
where are the hotels uh, are the room rentals uh, what where is uh, the infrastructure for tourism yeah i mean the 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 infrastructure for tourism is mostly it's it's mostly located to the center city okay. so they are mostly the they said the very uh, the hotels and uh, for for the tourists but as i mentioned the nature is close to to the sea but some other hotels are located to in the coastline okay so which has more exposed to, to the city but uh, in terms of leisure they are hotels but for sure but leisure is, is quite small city but even though nevertheless the hotels are located mainly to the city center which can be which has much more access for tourists okay okay I, I mean, uh, from my point of view, I think we have now quite a lot of information to, that can be structured and, uh, and thought through. I think the, the examples are quite interesting because they are two, I think probably two very typical situations of one being the public building with a school and it seems like a, a general issue. And the other one is for me more about how do you, de do you deal with this private stakeholders how do you can imagine to how to integrate maybe the residential community on top with the issue of how to use the bottom level that is empty and uh, i think they, these are general issues that we can deal with and look how to how to approach how to create some kind of uh, roadmaps uh, um, okay okay thank you very much everyone for coming and joining and also the questions in the chat uh, we will come back with international uh, austrian but also albanian examples how things can be turned around with activation mm -hmm.